Yeah, this is the one that I wanted to show you. More than anything, I just wanted to show you a couple of videos. And I have a little, add my little bridge thing. Okay, so I'll get to the bridge thing in a moment. But first, let's just kind of, I used to actually go through some stuff in the textbook, but it's lame and boring, and yeah, I just gave it up. But I should point out that statics, and you don't need to know this, but if you're at all thinking about engineering, and I know Brad is, I don't know if anyone else is, maybe, but statics is the physics of keeping objects still by applying forces to them. So, like, for example, when the guys are putting in these windows here, they're not doing statics. I mean, they are, but, like, an architect would probably, or an engineer, would have to deal with what's above the door, the header there, so that there's enough support for the roof. That's right? Right. Civil engineering. Maybe even the camp. Right? So, and I know that if you're taking first year university engineering, statics is a course, and from what I understand from my friend Steve, one of the higher ones. Static equilibrium is an object state of motion when all the forces acting on it are balanced. Where are you taking it? Oh, I wonder who's that one. Who's? Oh, yeah, we can be scary. Um, back in, I don't know when, there's a place called the Tacoma Narrows. It's out the west coast, like Washington State. Um, so there's a city called Tacoma. They built a bridge across, you know the narrows when you go to Winnipeg? Yeah. Okay, so they have a similar kind of place where the, 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 the lake narrows, and they built a bridge, Jerry. Here's what happened when they didn't pay attention in statics class. My old version of this lesson actually had my own personal pictures. My wife and I went to Greece about eight years ago. There's a place in Turkey called Ephesus. If you ever get there, it's very cool. If you're anywhere near that area, go to Ephesus. It's very, very cool. These are all pictures that I found on Google Images. But you will notice that all of these, they're not bridges, but they're, they're, they're buildings, right? They look very similar to what I have up here in front of Talia, right? There was one picture that I took that was really awesome. I, can't, I couldn't find it. I didn't have time last night. Uh, bring this one to the front. Okay, so you could actually see daylight through here kind of thing in the one picture that I had. I couldn't find the replica, but these are all from Ephesus. Okay, so I have a similar one here, which is called the Roman Arch. I'm just going to bring it over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah pull it over here. I'm going to pull it up. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to take off the top layer. Yeah. Okay, you want to stand over here, Tyler, so they can see? Okay, so I'm going to hold this. You're going to take that one up when I say so, okay? I'm just take that so. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you can see that there is no glue. There's no belt. Is there any velcro there? Is there anything holding it together? Okay, so that can. Oh, that's not it's also what I asked. <laughs> now, do you think that I could stand on this bridge? Yes. Really? Maybe that's a soft layer. Like, what's holding it together, Todd? See, like, the middle on each side. It's how it moves, right? Yeah. How do they get it? How do they get it? That's how they do it. They're both pushing you do it. Yeah. Does anyone know what that, that block, the key, uh, that the uh, Tali took out, what it's called? It's called the keystone, yeah. Do you really think I can stand on this? Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah, I've done it so many uh, times, just like, I got played in the I'm not crazy. I don't know what that. Okay, that makes sense. You're not. You're not. Oh, I mean, like if they used to build a that. Like that. Oh, that's just them. Yeah. Don't get a concussion. Ha. Broken ankles. No way. Oh my God. Now, arches are very strong. Now, what if I were to? You'll notice that I still have this leg. Like, what would be different if I stood this way? Would it be more force? It'd be concentrated, right? It'd be like the pressure. There would be more pressure right in the middle. More force You don't get Can I what? No. Hello? I do. You can get it. Sure. Okay. They're looking for you in the office. Uh, no, I probably, I probably couldn't stand this way. I, I had the, the woodshop guys hold the replica once and I tried it. I'm not going to do that. Um, but, 
Yeah. You'd probably be okay. I mean, there, most of your weight is, is, there. is there, right? When I went like this, my weight is balanced out. It's sort of spread out. It's like walking on a nice right? Mm -hmm. right? Um, so how this works is all of the force actually not divided based on the heat zone. But it also, these are important, too. Okay? All of the force is pushed down. And because of the vectors, all of that force is actually pushed outwards like this and it's on these. The one that they built for me in in the shop, the replica, these weren't very solid. When I stepped on it, they went like this, and then I fell. I'm not gonna do that again. I can. Um, I'm not gonna let you. Yeah. Right. Because people say playing on this. How? Because they don't know where the parts went. Okay, but it's like a puzzle. It is a bit like a puzzle. Would you like to know more about these Roman arches? Yes. No. I need to do this question so that I can give you a term that you're going to see. Can you give us the page number and the question? It's page 237, question number four. Page 237, number four. Okay. And it says. Forces can also be applied by compressing or tensing a rigid object as a beam. So up to now, all we've talked about is like the tension in a wire or, or something like that. There can also be the other way. That's known as compression. It is exactly the same. Don't freak out when it says compression. It just means the reverse of tension. It's just a force. Okay? Terry, you listen? What's compression? You're not listening. Okay, you should listen. And you'll know. You won't have to ask me later. It's exactly the same as then. Okay? So when you're pushing something. Um, two beams support a four kilogram pail of water about an open well as shown in figure 713. So they've got those two beams. The pail weighs four kilograms. And the beams are 1.9 meters high and it's 1.3 meters across. How much compression force is exerted on each beam by the water pail? So basically, you're asked to find how much force there is, right? But again, it's the opposite of um, tension, it's compression. So how are we going to do this? Any ideas? Do the exact opposite. Well, remember when we had this kind of situation, what did we do? We found the weight force of the sign, right? And then we've got tension Y, tension Y, and they each half, and I'll remember all that stuff? Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly the same, except instead of <laughs> it's <laughs> right. There you go. That's all you need to know. Okay, so let's just talk about this triangle here. Now you will notice the one thing that we don't have is we don't have the <laughs> angle. Can we find the angle, John? Yes. Sure, yes. we can. We got the height here. We got 1.3 all the way across, so divide by 2, right? So that's going to be 0.65, right? So I got that triangle like so. There's my theta, 0.65, 1.9, grade 9, trig, no, grade 10 trig now, I think. Used to be grade 9. Grade 10 now, right? So, no, I don't need to find the angle though. So theta equals... Inverse 10, 1.9 over 0.65. I'm already confused. Really? Well, I mean, like, did we learn this this year? Or did did I not just finish saying grade 10 math, Brian? No, but I didn't know we were supposed to bring up grade 10 math. I wasn't do you do you math. have to relearn how to tie your shoelace even though you learned it in kindergarten? Yeah, but we don't practice this every day. Like, I'm pretty sure if I didn't tie my shoelace. You don't go home and practice trigonometry every day. No. Oh Why am I doing that every day? I mean, I do. You should be doing it. I'm kidding. I don't. <laughs> Drop this class. No, I Come on, right? <laughs> I got 71 degrees. Does that seem reasonable? Yeah. 71 degrees. Okay. So instead of calling it comp tension, we're going to call it compression, right? So, oh, I know what that is. Is that email? Yeah. 
No. <laughs> Mute. <laughs> Mute. But maybe you just muted this incident. Now walking dead notification. Yeah. No, that's the. I do know that. No, I do. Are you in degrees, Josh? 1.9 divided by 0.65. Second function tab. <laughs> 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 I don't want to hear Tony. I'm stressing the part. Okay, Josh, I'll come by. I mean, you know that you can do that kind of stuff, right? Okay, so I will come by in a bit and we will solve your problem. Step one. Why? Okay. So we're gonna have one side's gonna contain. One side's gonna uh, take half of the weight. Johnny, Johnny, take it down. One side is going to contain or take care of one side of the weight. The other side is going to take care of the other side of the weight, right? So first of all, I need to find the weight force, don't I? So the weight force is going to be mass times gravity. So that's going to be 4 times 9.8, 39.2 newtons, right? Does it have to be negative? Okay. It's down. Okay. Um, so divide that by two, because we've got two beams, right? 19.6. So my Y component of my compression has to be how much? The Y component of the compression. 19.6, right? So I'm going to call this, this would be like CY here in red, right? And this would be the compression, right? So, therefore, CY is 19.6. So we have to times that by Now you're going to reuse that triangle again. You've got the CY, you've got the angle. The weight force is 39.2. Why did I divide by 2? There's two beams. So each beam has to provide 19.6 of vertical compression, right? And so the CY here is 90.6. This angle is 71. Yep. Right, this is 19.6. We're solving for? <coughs> We're solving for C, the compression. So opposite hypotenuse, sine 71 is opposite. 19.6 over hypotenuse, which is C. So C is 19.6 divided by sine 71. Twenty point seven. Twenty. Yeah, 20.7. 20.7 newtons of compression. Now, things can only withstand. Just like things can only take so much tension, they can only also take only so much compression, right? So there'd be like a maximum rate. Now, when I show it to you, it's not really that hard, is it? Is that it? You might never have seen something like that before. But yeah, exactly. So say if there's like a question in the test, I don't know. I, I know how to do this stuff. I just don't know how to like, read it. You just got to do lots, right? You can do backward addition to that. Are you talking about question because this question is going to be brought up later on in our lives? What? Put it this way, Megan. You should know what the word compression means. Okay. So if it's the first How is it opposite? Well, because compression is a force in as opposed to a force out. Okay. You find it the same way you Yeah, exactly the same, right? I mean, what would be different than if I just had it like as in something holding it up, like a wire? Nothing, you would do it exactly the same way. Just sort of a different kind of look at it. It's different words. Yeah, different words. Yeah. Now, part B says, what outward force do the two beams right. exert on the well as well? So when I had the bridge, I told you how all of my weight went sideways, right? Because, because this is pushing down, and it's at an angle, some of the force also goes outwards. How much? Well, that would simply be the, the x component of the compression, would it not? Right? So part B would simply be, now how would you find CX here? What would you guys do? 
you can use that. You can use a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Personally, I would probably use opposite and adjacent and the 19.6 and the 71. I tend to use numbers that I've already come up with already, right? So I would say something like tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So it would be tan 71 is equal to the opposite, 19.6, over my adjacent, which is my CX. And CX would be that uh, 19.6 divided by tan 71. How would that be worded? Like find the force? Uh, it's, well, I'll read you what it says there again. 6.7 newtons. So we don't have to use inverse tau? Just no effort? Say again? So we don't have to use inverse tau? No. Or no, because we're not. It talking. says, hey, how much, what outward force do the two beams exert on the Wells wall? They're asking you how much force is outward like this. Most of the time, like most of the time, the problems that I see that you guys are having is reading the question trying to figure out what they're really asking and how to start right usually often you could say it, the math of the arithmetic is relatively easy right it's just practice what to do in a certain situation oh i've seen something like that before right that just takes multiple goes around six point what number is that uh six point seven because I'm not finding it. When you use inverse tau, you're finding the angle. No, I'm finding the x. Finding the x component. Okay? I just wanted to introduce to you the word compression. Okay. I will be quiet. Little C. Analyze C. I just said I don't work. I will say this, you better know the word compression and how to be able to find it. Okay, so I just did number four for you, so you should maybe do one, two, and three. There's some more on page 267. I've given you tons to do. I gave you that kind of max that I have to do. You have half an hour today. You have all day tomorrow, period. Um, I'm going to start with projectiles on Thursday. Projectiles are awesome. Lots of fun. Um, if we've got a nice day, we may be able to take the uh, rocket outside and go find the distance that we can travel. Um, yeah, that's what it is. What's that? Probably not. We need a couple days before we can get to the rocket. And it's got to be above zero, too. Because Does it require heat to no, it's just that when it gets cold, the rocket cracks when it hits the ground. Oh, I don't know what kind of rocket.